Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Frankly Speaking. Once again, your host, Frank Alvarez, financial consultant here in San Diego. Today, we're going to talk about dollar cost averaging. So what is dollar cost averaging? So if you're an investor, you probably heard it from your financial advisor before, or you probably read it somewhere. Really, the idea of dollar cost averaging is that we're invested a fixed amount of assets in a fixed period of time, regardless of what the market is doing. So let me just simplify this in layman terms. Right? Basically, what it means is that we have committed a certain amount of money that is going to be going into a specific investment, specifically in a set period of time. Try to keep it uh, at least every month would be ideal. Right. So then that way we're not focused towards what the market is doing. Uh, if the market is too expensive, if the market is too low, we're just buying regardless of the market conditions, the set fixed amount of money that we set. So you might be thinking, what's really the advantage of this? So really, there's a couple of studies about this, right? Really, math never lies and math always makes sense, right? Sometimes our minds feel irrational about a couple of things, but we just got to uh, rely back into the numbers. So there's different studies that show us how by doing this, we're pretty much forcing ourselves to buy more shares when the market is low and buy less shares when the market is high. Really, the idea of this is that we're not timing the market and we're just forcing ourselves to start saving into a fixed asset, hopefully getting it in the long term run at a lower price entry point with above average returns, right? A perfect example of this is going to be your 401k. A lot of people do ask us the question on why is it that my investment account is not performing as well as my 401k? Well, the truth of the matter is for a lot of people, when it comes down to their 401k, they just set up a fixed percentage that comes out of their check on a, on a bi-weekly basis that gets invested to the market automatically. And for most people, they're not touching their 401k as often as they're touching their investment accounts. So what ends up happening is in the long term, all these people are dollar cost averaging into their retirement accounts without even touching their investments whatsoever. They find out that sometimes the 401k account ended up performing better than their actual investment account, where it's a lot more emotion based than just setting it and forgetting it when it comes down to, for example, a retirement account such as a 401k. So hope everything helped. Once again, if this was something that was valuable for you, make sure that you like the video, share this video with your loved ones. Hopefully we can help them out. And once again, I'll see you guys up to the next episode.